guys good morning so welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is nita so um we just recently got our dining table top that we've been waiting for so our dining table if you can see behind me <laughs> we've been trying to replace for the last couple of months so it's finally here so i'm going to show you guys um us replacing that um yeah so if you guys aren't subscribed go ahead and subscribe like this video comment below yeah okay you guys so our dining tabletop has finally been delivered it just got delivered literally two minutes ago so let me show you guys what our current tabletop is looking like so as you can see it has this big crack going all along the top so we put in for a replacement and it's actually been a couple months since we did that but it's here now so my husband is going to go ahead and um switch that up you guys so here is the new and improved tabletop i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but we sure can it's definitely smoother it's like they sanded this um tabletop and they took their time with it this time on the last tabletop um it wasn't so smooth it had a little bit of grain in there which is fine but this one just feels so much better um still have the tag on <laughs> So this table is from TOV Furniture. I don't know if the name is on here. Yeah, it is. TOV Furniture. So yeah. And this is the old tabletop, as you can see the crack right here. So yeah, we're happy. Finally got our new tabletop. And that's now over with. All right, and let me put my decorative bowl back in the middle yeah all right you guys so here is the rug after we laid it out um so um this is not the rug that I actually picked out. This is the rug that my husband picked out. And he didn't do too bad. I'm not going to even lie. He kind of knows what I like. He kind of knows the tone that I'm going for. It's just because everything is online or that we've been looking online that um, when we get it in person, it just it doesn't turn out to be what we expected. But he didn't do too bad at all. Um, so this is what it looks like up close. Um, it has these um, ivory, cream, and beige tones. So... It goes well with the accent chair that we have over here. 
But the only thing that's throwing me off is our sectional, because our sectional is this weird color. I don't really know how to describe it. I don't know if it's a gray or, um, what's the other color? Cream, it's not cream, because that's what I expected. When we ordered this couch online, it was described as a MAC vanilla. So I figured, because it said vanilla, that it was gonna be like this creamy color, because that's what it looked like online. That's the thing about ordering things, ordering furniture online, is that you never know what you're gonna get. So um, when it came in, to my surprise, it was not cream. But anyways, we just decided to keep it because it was going to be too much of a hassle to return this big old sectional. So here we are with a sectional that I can't find a rug to go with. <laughs> so I'm struggling. Y'all need help. I need help. I have you guys think this rug pairs well with this sectional or not? Let me know because I'm ready to take it back. <laughs> we also have been looking in home goods and things like that for rugs. Um, but every time we go to home goods, we don't, you know, we don't get lucky. We don't find anything that we like. So I don't know. You guys have any suggestions of where I should look for rugs? Um, I've tried Ruggables. I've tried um, Rugs USA. Um, I've tried some other random um, local places, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm just being too picky or or what, but this is not working out. And this is an eight by 10 rug too, by the way. This is an eight by 10, but I feel like it's still a little too small. And this living room is not even that big. <laughs> so an eight by 10 rug looks weird in here. I feel like I need a nine by 12. But a nine by 12 is so expensive. Thing that I wanted to do is take down those command strips. Can y'all can y'all see that? So we have two command strips on the wall from last year Christmas. Um, we had a I did a DIY wreath, so I had it hanging there. But now I'm so tired of looking at the command strips. I just want to get them down. I think that's my next task. I think I'm gonna do that right now, actually. So I gotta go get the ladder and then get my little ass up there and take down those command strips hopefully i can reach it because last time my husband he's the one who actually put them up and he's taller than me so i'm gonna try i'm gonna see if i can actually reach them and if not i'm just gonna wait for my husband so he can take them down but pray for me y'all i'm gonna try let's see how this goes Right, guys so i got one of the command strips off but the other one um my husband put that one up upside down 
So the tabs usually to pull off the command strips, you will pull it down, but it's facing the other way, so you will have to pull it up. <laughs> so I, I'm too short to reach it to pull it up ways, so I'm just gonna wait for him to come home and take that one off. But I didn't get the other one off, and it came off real smooth, no marks, no, it didn't pull off any of the paint or anything like that, so I'm happy about that. But I'm just ready for these command strips to come off because I'm tired of seeing them. <laughs> I'm so tired of looking at it. Alright you guys, so hubby finally got the command strip off for me. So the wall is finally clear now. I can't wait to actually put some art on this wall. Um, whenever I do though, it's going to be huge. Because this wall is freaking tall. So um, I do have some ideas in mind of what I want to do. But um, yeah, stay tuned for that. And you guys will see how this area turns out. So you guys. My life has changed. <laughs> so my husband just installed um, a bidet, a boudet. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it, but he installed that um, what, a couple of days ago. And bro, my mind is blown. Like my sister has one. She's had one for like a year now. And um, I've never jumped on it. I don't know why, but um, it's something that I never knew I needed. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and um, I get I got it from Amazon of course so I'll link it below if you guys are interested all right guys so here is the boudet um so my husband he got this off of Amazon like I said so I think he said it was easy to install I don't think it's hard to install at all so we got it in black um it comes in other colors I believe I know it comes in white that's for sure but we got the black one to go with our aesthetic as you can see our garbage pail over there is black so we got the black one and this is what it looks like so i don't know if you can see that Why is it not full? so here is what it looks like up close so this is the water pressure knob so this is how you would turn it to the pressure you prefer and then here you have all the buttons so this is for your your booty and this is for your you know your friend up front so, and this is how you stop it as well. So you press that middle button right there. But when you guys get yours, y'all will see how to work it. And y'all gonna love it, I promise you. So, um, that's the little spout inside there. So, ah, oops, <laughs> hold on. So what's the button that, I swear I just, oh, okay. So that's a little demo right there, as you can see. So that's like a self cleaner, I think. I think that's the self-clean right here. Yeah, because I don't use this button. So this is self-clean. And I pressed the other one, the butt by accident, it just sprayed me. So let's not do that. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit shorter than my normal video, but I hope you guys subscribe and um, stay tuned for another video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.